Yeah, hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. This is Bank Holiday Easter Monday. A lovely day for celebration in the religious calendar um, or for just family days out. However, there is something I'd like to share with you all that is of a disgusting nature. Uh, the reason I've decided to share this video with you today is because it's it's an event that happens in the calendar on the 25th of April every single year and we're just so close to the 25th of April. Um, I did a video last year on this subject but I was able to do it a little bit before the 25th of April. This year, as most of you know if you subscribe to my channel, I haven't long been back off my holiday and I haven't been able to get around to doing it, but because it is looming within the next couple of days, it's important I get this out there to all of you today. So what we're talking about? I'm talking about Alice Day. You ever heard of it? Do any of you know anything about Alice Day? Probably not. I doubt that very much because it's one of the underground celebrated days of the year where all the paedophiles come together. Now, I don't mean they all meet up in one place over the world or anything. It's a day in their calendar for celebration. They all communicate with each other verbally, whether it's online. I'll explain a little bit more to you. Um, I will look down because I've written my notes up again. Um, so how do I know about this? So I know about this purely from a professional point of view. Um, years ago now, and I'm talking about some years ago now, I worked with social services and in that area of um, profession and so it came to my attention and I've been trying to pass this information on to other people um, and it's honestly it's so surprising the amount of people that don't know especially the people that work with children I'm talking about school teachers schools in general nurseries um, any profession where they are looking after your child Okay, so many people just don't know about it because it's just not out there. It's, as I say, it's very underground. So, it's a horrible topic. It's probably that's one of the reasons why it's not talked about. It is a horrible, horrible topic. Um, it's very difficult to talk about. It absolutely disgusts me so much as I know it will you. So, okay, originally this day was actually called Paedophile's Pride Day. That's years ago now. It was called Paedophile Pride Day um, because it's their celebration. And then it became known too much, um, the day, because, you know, with, the, with it being called Paedophile Pride Day, the authorities started finding out about it, the police. One particular paedophile decided to change the name to Alice Day. Who would know what Alice Day meant? Nobody would know what Alice Day meant, would they? Um, you know, if they're sharing information online or just talking in general, Alice Day could mean anything. We wouldn't know. So that's how it has become known as Alice Day. Right, so as I've already said, it's celebrated on the 25th of April and it's celebrated worldwide. But as I've already said, Alice Day falls on the 25th of April every year. It doesn't matter where in the world you are, as soon as it's the 25th of April, so some countries are so many hours in front, so many ha hours behind, as soon as it's the 25th of April, yeah, they're celebrating. They're celebrating in big style. There's actually a few ways, if you know, if you know how, and you will know because I'm passing this information on to you, there are a few ways of recognising people in this circle. 
Um, and it's also a way for them to recognise each other. Okay, so it's like the secret language of these disgusting, I'm not even going to call them human beings because they're just disgusting paedophiles. So, one of the things they do is, is to wear pink. Um, it could be a pink t-shirt, it could be a pink shirt. That's one of the things that they recognise each other. If they're wearing pink on the 25th of April, it's a little secret language. Um, <laughs> it's so bizarre because, I mean, I love my husband in pink and he often wears a pink shirt, but by God he will not wear one on the 25th of April. Okay, so, if your partner enjoys wearing pink, no, no, not on the 25th of April, please. <laughs> um, now, I laugh because I have to inject a little bit of humour into this awful subject. You know. Uh, so what used to happen is, and it does still happen, of course, that a lot of these paedophiles who wear pink, they have logos on their shirts. These logos will indicate what they're really into. Um, I'll give you a few examples, okay? One of the first logos that I'm going to talk about is a blue triangle. Um, it could just be something that they've got embroidered on their shirts, but it's a triangle. Excuse the dogs. It's a blue triangle, and the meaning of that is they like boys. If they have a, like a back to front E logo, and that would be in like a turquoisey grey colour. That means they like, now I'm talking little boys, I'm talking baby boys here. Yeah, absolutely sick. But that's their, that's their preference. What the logos are is their sexual preference, okay? A double pink heart means they like little girls. Um, if they have a double heart, and it could be a blue heart and a pink heart, and then they've got a tiny blue heart and a tiny pink heart underneath the other heart, means they have absolutely no preference. They just don't care. They don't care if it's a boy, they don't care if it's a girl, they don't care if it's a baby, they just want your child. Okay? And a, just a circle, round circle, with a blue triangle in it and a pink heart in it, that represents, again, they don't, they're not fussy, they don't care if it's a boy or a girl, they're just into any child. Um, but that particular logo represents that they operate more online via social media. Okay, that's what that one means. Right, so now that I've explained what they will wear, how they recognise each other. So now I'm going to mention the fact that as time's progressed, um, not everyone is now wearing the pink t-shirts. It can be the logos that I've just talked about, they may have them as a tattoo. So they may have that particular logo tattooed on them somewhere where it's, you know, it's visible so that they can all do their dirty little... Um, underground communication so that's you know it's progressing from just the pink shirts now onto tattoos so now you know that on the 25th of April that's the day that these paedophiles come together um, via whatever their secrecy how whatever they're sharing as I say whether it's tattoo whether it's online whatever they're doing this is something that they all come together to celebrate their desire to prey on our children. So, where do they go? Okay, the schools. That's one of the places they go. Not into the school, but they could be hanging around outside the school. They don't even have to be that close to the school. So long as they've got, if they've got a camera and they can take a, a long shot, they could be stood way back from the school. Okay. Nurseries, that's another place you might see them. Parks, splash pools, shops, shopping malls, sports events, zoos, you name it. Wherever you're going to take your child, that is where they're going to be. They will be there and it won't be completely obvious to you that they're there. 
They will try their damnedest to engage with your child as well. They will try their damnedest to touch your child. And by this, I don't mean in don't mean in an outwardly sexual way, but for them to be able to engage with your child. Um, let me give you an example. They might just say, "Oh, hello! You lost your mummy. Um, would you like me to help you to find your mummy?" And then just a little pat on the shoulder, a little rub on the arm, or a touch of the hand. I say it. That's enough. That's enough for them to be self-gratifying themselves later on, okay? So it doesn't have to be a an all-out and out sexual advance to your child. That would be enough to stimulate what they need. It's not a photograph, it's not a photographic image, but it's a mental image. And that's what that paedophile will zoom into when they're at home on their own and they will self-gratify themselves on the image of and, and remembering the feel of your child's hand. Um, and also if they take photographs, as some of them will be taking photographs, they will also use those photographs for um, sexual gratification when they're on their own. The other thing they will do is they will sell the photographs as well so they share them amongst their other sick individual friends that are part of this underworld paedophile circle they will sell the photographs now also um, there are other people out there that may not be a paedophile but they are aware of this, they're aware of what's happening. So they are out there doing the groundwork, if you like. They're out there taking the pictures and then they are selling them to these paedophiles. In my mind, they are just as bad. They are just as sick and as evil. Um, I suppose now I should say, you know, obviously we need to be we need to be absolutely vigilant. We should have our eyes on our children at all times anyway. Um, talk to your children about stranger danger. Um, and of course it's a difficult one because you don't want to be out there just accusing people left, right and centre if you think, oh, I haven't seen that person here before. You know, you have to be very careful. Um, but that's why I say just be vigilant about it. If you see somebody, a stranger, hanging around outside of your child's school, outside of the gates of a little um, a play park, the parents will look out for people and it could be male and it could be female because not all paedophiles are male, okay? There are a lot of sick female paedophiles out there as well. Um, but if you see a lone adult who's hovering around somewhere where it just seems a little bit random for them to be, they haven't got a dog with them. Not that that's always a reason, but, you know, if somebody's out walking their dog, they might just, you know, wander by the park and think, oh, aren't they cute, having a lovely time in there. I remember when my kids were little, that sort of thing. Um, or it could be a granddad waiting at the school gate to pick up his child and he hasn't been there before. It could be grandma. It could be anybody, you know, who's there ready to pick up somebody from school that you just don't recognize don't be thinking straight away oh my god you know it's the 25th of april they're paedophiles you know nine times out of ten they are not going to be a paedophile but it's worth knowing about it's worth looking out for if you see a stranger acting completely out of character if you see a stranger taking photographs of children if it was me, I would probably confront that person, as in, excuse me, why are you taking pictures of these children? See what happens, sort of judge it, gauge it. If you're not happy, if you feel in your heart that something's not right, call the police, because that's what I would do. I would call the police. 
without doubt. If that person is innocent, there is no problem, is there? Um, what I'm going to do in this video, I will just pop in a photograph of some of the logos I've described to you. Um, I will also in the, if you click on the show more bit at the bottom of my video in the description, I will also include the website so that you can go on and explore this a little bit more for yourself. Um, you can even Google Alice Day, you'll get some information from Google as well. Um, and maybe if, if you work with children, um, or if you have children, Maybe say to somebody at your child's school, or if you work in that profession, if you say to your manager, have you heard about Alice Day? You will be surprised how many just haven't. They haven't heard of it. Um, so, in my opinion, knowledge is power, okay? And I want to share this information. It's something I'm sharing annually. I need to get it out there. I want to keep our children safe from these disgusting, low-life paedophiles who prey on our children. They do it all year round anyway, but on the 25th of April, they celebrate. This is a big day to them, guys. It's a real big day for them. So please share, share my video, get the word out there, and as I say, knowledge is power. Um, I'm going to end this video here, I think I've probably said enough. I'm not going to say if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, because that would just be a little bit weird, I think. There is nothing in this topic to enjoy. If you found this video informative, then give me a thumbs up. Um, as I say, I do this annually and I will continue to do it annually because I'm getting new people watch me all the time, I'm getting new subscribers all the time and I want you to be aware of what happens on the 25th of April every year. It's Alice Day. Until my next video, see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.